There is something strange going on. Now, most people I've heard talk about Walking Dead, they talk about how they're kind of separating from the TV show. They're just not into it as much. I am going the other direction. I find the TV show to be a lot of fun, but for some reason, the comic book seems to be going in a direction. I'm just like, yeah. And while it used to be my number one title to read, it's still good. It's just finding ways to make me less interested in it. And in the case of this issue, it does that by introducing us to the very first Walking Dead cartoon character. Not comic book character, because that was Negan with an outfit, the weapon, the whole nine yards, but an actual cartoon character. And I do enjoy the setup, and I, enjoy, I do enjoy this first part with Eugene, and I think that's Heath, and they're talking about how Rosita was in love with Heath, not Eugene, even though they were supposed to be together. I mean, that's some real good character moments. And some of the bit where they're walking towards, I, I, I like the opening scene. But then things just kind of go downhill when Michonne decides to just, you know, shout out in the big city, hello, is anybody there? And that's when it just falls apart. I mean, this, the creation, uh, I, I know you have to bring in new people. But this is such a character of now that it doesn't fit The Walking Dead. And that's the problem. She has the walking... I, I know there was a time jump, but the whole... My gosh. You know what? The only way to do it is... I, I, I thought I would do this as one of those interview, uh, reviews I do where I just talk over the book. But I have to go delve into the book for this. Meet Princess. You're going to love her. Right away, I got a weird Riri Williams vibe, mainly because we just saw Michonne call out, is anybody out there? And when somebody answers, she says, who are you? What do you want? Which immediately puts Michonne in the spot of being the one in the wrong, which, of course, Princess calls out. Excuse me? You're the one screaming out. I thought you needed help. Now you're treating me like I'm the one causing a problem? I haven't seen another living person in almost a year, and the first one I find seems like she's probably a meanie. It truly is the end of the world. And this, of course, puts Michonne in the position of apologizing. It puts her in a weaker position. And she does mention the fact that she's armed and, uh, you know, wanted to make sure that she wasn't attacking her, which obviously she wasn't because with a gun like that, if you wanted to attack somebody... You wouldn't just stand out in the middle of the street. You'd put yourself in a window and, you know, go. But that's not pointed out. It's pointed at that, or at least it's not said like that. It's said like this. If I were attacking you, I'd be holding the gun like this. Now she's pointing the gun at him. Now she, it's time for her to die. The dangerous part is pointed at you now. That's for attacking. The other way, that's for hello. That's there if I need it, but it's not ready. So I wasn't attacking, but now... Now, I think that's up to you. You going to try to hurt me? And right away, I felt this is going to be one of those things where the millennial is always right. I don't know. Maybe, like I said before in other situations, maybe I'm just, I've just been punch drunk a little bit too much. But I got the vibe right away from her about that. And unfortunately, the book continues. And first thing I would like to point out is her outfit. Like I said, this is one of the first cartoon characters. And... I understand, like I said, N Negan was a comic book character. He had his jacket on all the time. He carried Lucille. So he basically had a costume. But, I don't know, just it fit. It's, it was easy to accept. This one is absolutely a cartoon character by the costume you see. And you see it on the cover. And you see it here. She's wearing fur. Or faux fur. Or whatever it is in the apocalypse. That thing would be so matted. Now, granted, she could have just picked it up. But if you wear something like that, it's not going to stay nice. And you, if you're running around the city trying to stay uh, out of things, it's, that's just not, it's going to be matted down. It's going to be ugly. It's going to just look like crap. But obviously, it doesn't here. Anyway, she says, crap, sorry. Back when I had people around to tell me things, they told me I had a real temper. Sorry, really, I haven't seen someone in so long, I don't even know what to say. Truth be told, I'm not 100% sure you're all real. Are you real? I haven't ever hallucinated or anything before, but, you know, there's always a first time for everything. Say something that I wouldn't know, like, what's the capital of Pennsylvania? 
And Eugene says, Harrisburg. Nuts, did I know that? I think I knew that. This is unnerving stuff. And, uh, of course, you know, they have to find out if she's really alone in the universe. And she says, uh, didn't, didn't I already tell you that? I've been alone for nearly a year. It sucks. I'm freaking out. Talking to real people again. I should really be nicer so I don't blow the shutting up. And I, I've got to make a confession here. I understand that because I know what's coming up, I think maybe I'm treating her a little bit harsh. Uh, maybe more so than I really need to. Uh, but just instantly, I didn't like her. But then as the dialogue got worse, I found out I really don't like her. And mostly, I have to say, it was the look because it just does not look like uh, she belongs in the in the world uh, that that the Walking Dead is built up. But then the dialogue. Okay, so anyway, now she decides to actually introduce herself. I'm Juanita Sanchez, but I've always hated that name, Juanita. Please call me Princess. And then Michonne introduces everybody and proves me wrong from earlier. Nice to meet you, Princess. I'm Michonne. This is Magna, Eugene, Siddick, not Heath like I called him earlier, and Yumiko. And Yumiko says, why Princess? Because Queen makes me sound old. When I got here and the whole city seemed empty, I claimed it as my own. I'm the Princess of Pittsburgh. So after killing a few zombies, Michonne decides they should leave before the sound of the gun attracts more walkers and... Princess says, can I come with you? To which Michonne says, no. She says, why not? Because we don't know you. And so Princess decides to talk again. Then get to know me. We could talk while we travel together. What better way to know, get to know someone? I promise I'm cool as heck. Don't you want to get to know me? Aren't you curious? I could be useful addition to the travel group. Maybe I know a neat place to swim. Look, I get it. Trust issues, am I right? I understand. You guys don't know me. And I have this crazy adorable pink jacket and these snazzy goggles. I dyed my hair purple because there's more hair dye than people. So why not? I'm a little loopy from not being around people for so long. And I seem totally kooky. We got to build trust. Cool. I'd like that. I, too, am I'm, I'm bored on board with that i'm not handing over my gun because as much as i need someone to talk to before i go all the way crazy i don't know if i could trust you either so here's what it is there's five of you one of me so if i were to cause trouble or if i wanted to kill one of you i'd barely be able to get maybe one maybe two of you before the others killed me so i'd have to have a death wish to try and do that right but i've been living here alone for a long time so that very very much proves that i want to be alive right the writing for this character has to be exhausting the reading is exhausting, especially out loud if you want to do it the way you think that they're being told. Uh, once again, I'm. it's just, I don't know. Maybe the fact that they're playing off is crazy. Maybe I, I'm wrong about this character. I don't know. But yeah, I, just, I was like, oh no, no, please don't bring this person along. Please don't do it. But she is. She's here. She's part of the group. So we get this. I gotta say, I'm really liking the ratio here. Asian American, African American, Arab American. That's a lot of hyphens. Only two men? Only two white people? I'm Greek. What's your point? Oh, now that I get a better look at you, I see that olive tone to your skin. You're beautiful. I'm just saying, as a Mexican American, it's nice to see the numbers evening out, you know? Maybe we're not all in the more minority here. Heh. <laughs> Only minority left these days is alive. Heh. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever said that before. What a cruddy term when it gets down to it, right? Ever think about that? There were less of us, so they called us minorities? That sounds so negative. Like the word was designed to make everyone dismiss us immediately. There were so many better options. I mean, if there's less of you, that makes you special and unique. Specials, uniques, go, both great. Or what about rare? That have been that may have been cool. My brother and I are rarities. I love it. And of course, because this is the direction the comics heading in, it seems Michonne answers with, "You've got a point." No, she doesn't. Sorry, she doesn't minorities is all about the numbers that's why they're calling now what was it that just got announced that white christian males are in a minority yeah it means numbers and it's up to you to make that a negative personally and yes i know somebody's going to take this personal the new announcement i mean 
And it won't be because of the word minority. It'll be because of minority means lesser numbers. Anyway, Princess says, see, I'm growing on you. Michonne looks a little bit nonplussed. At this point, I'm thinking, shoot her. Shoot her now. Dear God, shoot her, please. Okay, I'm going to praise the book for this page. And it looks like this page is nothing. However, what it does is it takes time to show the travel. You know, a lot of books would just cut from, we're, we're on our way, and then we arrived. But I like the fact that they took time to show, you know, and, and of course it's to give us a feeling of, of a passage of time, and, and it works, and I like that. So yes, there is praise to be had for this book. And I've got to be honest, I like this joke. They arrive at a building here, and she yells, Hey boys, look alive, I brought us some horses. This, of course, does not go over well with Michonne, as uh, she starts to threaten her, and the kid stops and just starts laughing. i got to say, you know, as much as I hate the character... I liked the joke, but uh, of course Michonne looks pissed, and all I could think of is, good, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her. Shoot her. Yeah, you had to have seen that coming. Anyway, I got to tell you, overall, the book falls flat because of the character. She, To me, she's annoying. Now, she at the beginning, I thought, okay, well, you know, she's kind of crazy. She's uh, definitely the look is out. You can't have that. Like I said, you can't have that look forever because the uh, the weather, the, the conditions would not allow fur to look that good. But overall, I just got annoyed. And then when it started in with the whole identity politics thing, during the zombie apocalypse, yeah, I'm sorry, but the only thing they that should be is alive and dead so in any book this is where it stands out the most because this is where it does not need to be the most so no matter what uh politics or something that i mean that uh, that he's trying to put in this is not the right place for it or at least that's what i think But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Did you like the book? Do you like the character? Am I way off? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you agree, I take that also. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to head on over to Patreon or Vidme. The links are in the description below. Drop a dollar in the till. And help us to continue to make videos like this that we hope entertain you and not enrage you. And if they do enrage you, put that in the comments also, because those are fun as well. Either way, thank you very, very much for watching.